Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Strat Gamer here, providing you with a new Anno 1800 episode. And this is, we are back in a max population series and I want to show you the Arctic pretty much done. I will explain what isn't really done, but in terms of population, I think I've done what I want to do. And if we look right away, I won't make you wait. We see 900 explorers and 51,000 technicians. Now, if we also do Control R to actually check, we can see um, that the maximum of houses sort of there I could get to 940 explorers and 51,940 technicians so basically I mean if you take those two is 50 almost 53,000 um, and we'll see um, potentially we can go there okay and then Let's see also while we are here on the production tabs to show you that I'm producing what I need. Um, so we need some wood that's going to come from another region. Similarly, the schnapps is going to come from another region and also the coal. If you see one of my previous videos that will appear now at the top, I showed in the past how you could have the Arctic completely self-sufficient, where you don't need to bring all of these things from another region and you can just build them um, or produce them in the Arctic. But now that I'm trying to get to the max population, obviously I'm doing sort of the opposite. But anyway, so then similarly the canned food coming from another region, the coffee too, but now getting into what is produced and, and uh, coming from this region, you can see the whey oil, oil producing enough, caribou producing enough, pemmican enough, seal skin similarly, then I'm producing some goose feather but not using them. I'm not giving sleeping bags, well I'm gonna see why, similarly not giving parkas, giving oil lamps and you can see it's enough, 11 for 10, and enough on this production here, right, because 16 when I need 15, and then we can see that uh, those two that are going into that are enough, 17 and 16. So producing enough to feed all of the this population, as you can see. No, thank you. Um, for many of the islands, it's really technicians only, only technicians, um, as much as possible, and giving them all of these things here, not giving them what I need for heat, and in particular, thanks to some of these items like this one reduces 50% chance of arctic flu so even if i'm not giving everything for the heat it is fine we're not getting um, you know sickness all the time so this is how we're getting to 20 you know it's the same for many of these islands let's quickly go through them this one was a funny one to do um, especially around here and as you can see they are all um, they always have a lot of uh, Arctic launches covering. To do this one is the same, and then there's a, there are a couple of islands which have some explorers. So this one has a few. Uh, this one no. You can see in the title, uh, explorer technician. This one has a few, and it's often because for this production like this, you can't get to zero workforce um, with these items or it's, it's not that great. So an island like this, you know, most of them technician, but a few explorers uh, and as, as little as possible, obviously, because you want to get um, technicians w which have 20 in their house versus only um, 10 maximum for the explorer right so as i said you know just a few not here here a few and already as always as little as possible and as you can see here it's seven if i upgrade one more for example this one uh, obviously i will lose nine so i will be negative so that's why it's sort of the limit and similarly uh, again here just a few. So as I said, most of it is really to produce the uh, whaling oil or the uh, seal hunting, um, I don't know it's called, uh, 
seal skins are uh, necessary for all these productions and then you will see here this is my island where I produce most of the goods so you can see the pemmican cookhouse here you can see some sled factories and husky sled factories here you can see the oil lamp factories and if you don't know which item I am using uh, or you don't hesitate to check my previous videos on the best items for the Arctic production you will see them all here um, but also these these were uh, honestly the hardest one the husky farms uh, you need quite a bit I need all of these here and then there was also I think was it here yeah here some more here so that's really the production uh, there's a few of these of course caribou hunting cabin that are hidden in in the corners usually some have um, items like this one this one for example doesn't have item because it's just in the corner i couldn't really cover more um so yeah that's i mean that's pretty much it for the arctic and you can see then of course um i have my arbors trying to put as many depots as possible and as many uh, advanced spears as possible especially here because there's a lot of production but also i mean for all the other islands we're still gonna need to deliver uh, those things so that's uh, that's why it's important the one thing i haven't done completely is all of the trade routes that need to go from all of these islands um, but i'm pretty convinced that you know it it will work i'll just need i just need to put the ships but it's not like there's gonna be limits i'm producing you know quite a bit more than than what i need in each uh, for example in pemmican right like 13 for 11 and i still even have space especially here to put a few more production buildings if necessary if there's you know lag somewhere in the production chain so um i'm i'm pretty convinced we're going to be able to keep this this population maybe even increase it a bit um so it is ladies and gents after 2.5 million scholars and uh, 500,000 investors we've now covered the arctic with a bit more than 50,000 technicians and after we finish the uh, routes here I guess the next one we'll want to do will probably be the new world as you can see new world right now is less than 5,000 in total which was basically similar to what I had in the Arctic before um, starting so let's see what we're gonna be able to do in the new world and then we'll pretty much be done there is still um, my capital that I haven't f fully optimized because I want to do that at the end um, on on a couple of elements uh, if you remember one of my previous videos there's space here there's also um, too much attractiveness here and some space and you know I'm sure that when we get to really the end I'll optimize just a bit some of those productions so that will be the last thing we need to do but uh, getting close um, you know if we can get to maybe 3.1 million that'd be great once um, as a reminder if this is m the first video you you look uh, at in this series we're doing that without any um, import import you know that oops uh, yeah there's there's no uh, import import export going on at all in my in the whole session so everything we uh, that we produce or everything that needs to be fed is being produced directly um, so that's that's quite nice more than three million fully produced okay hope to see you next time and as always don't hesitate to share any thought feedback love to hear about it